Hi, I'm Sue Lana. I'm the Clinical Oncology Service Chief here at the CSU Flint Animal Cancer Center. Thanks for your interest in our specialty training programs. This year due to COVID, we won't be able to have you come visit. So the purpose of this video is to give you an idea about our comprehensive cancer programs, to give you a tour of our facility, and to answer some of your questions that you might have about our specialty training programs. So let's mask up and get going. One of the unique things about our training programs here at CSU um, within the Flint Animal Cancer Center is the comprehensive nature of our clinical service. And by that, I mean, we run a multimodality service, which um, entails having radiation oncology, surgical oncology, and medical oncology, all receiving cases under the same service umbrella every day. So we round together twice a day, we interact with each other's cases every day, when a client comes in to see us and brings their patient, they'll get an evaluation by a primary clinician, which could be from any of those services. And then they get additional evaluation by a radiation oncologist and a surgeon all in one visit. It allows us to give our patients a higher level of care or a more streamlined level of care um, all at the same time. Another advantage from a training standpoint is as a medical oncology resident, you then get exposed to radiation oncology and surgical oncology every day. And from a surgeon's standpoint, you get to um, interact with uh, chemotherapy patients and see what the pros and cons of those protocols are. And the same is true for radiation therapy. We all get to see a little bit about each of the specialties. And so it's a big advantage, I think, for the trainees. One unique thing is the whole program is so interdisciplinary. We have rounds with medical oncology and surgical oncology every day. We are discussing all aspects of cases that may benefit from radiation oncology. We have a large caseload, over 500 cases a year. And so we get not only the routine, but also very complicated and challenging cases. We also have adequate technology. So we can have multiple people working on plans we have Rapid Arc, a trilogy, and a very nice radiation treatment room. Our staff is outstanding. They are highly trained, very efficient, and they are the hardest workers, in my opinion, in the hospital. Additionally, we have four board-certified radiation oncologists, three actively engaged in the program, and the other who's also dual-boarded in radiology, and she helps train the residents in terms of anatomy and three-dimensional thinking. Uh, we vary from three to five residents at any one time, and we have all the facilities that we need to meet all the requirements of the new ACVR recommendations for programs. Uh, we have ongoing research, maybe three or four radiation-related research projects, and uh, you, as a resident, can be part of those projects. Another interesting attribute is we have a master's program in the field of radiation biology. And so all the coursework you take in the class is relevant to your board. You get basic and advanced radiation biology, you get cancer biology, you get physics. And these things uh, really help make us, I believe, the strongest program in the country. I'm really excited to show you our the Lucy Oncology yes. Clinic today. This is a brand new state-of-the-art space that was recently remodeled it's really exciting for us because as a big team with medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, and surgical oncologists, we really need um, space that can hold us all so we can provide the best training opportunities and care for our patients. We enjoy working in multiple procedure and exam rooms, along with a patient evaluation room, known around here as the pit, where more than one patient can be examined simultaneously by various oncology team members. Just off the pit, there's a quiet intake room set up for those patients who need a private space for evaluation. We have two rounds rooms, one for the whole team where we gather twice daily in normal times. Most people participate remotely at this time, but this rounds room still serves as a workspace for our veterinary students on rotation. We also have a rounds room in the radiation oncology portion of the Lucy Oncology space that doubles as a treatment planning room. This space bears the name of a special Labrador we treated named Riley. With an eye towards improving diagnostics and treatment options for cancer patients through research, clinical trials play a critical role in not only helping our companion animals, 
but translating successful therapies to help people. We have a dedicated space where patients are evaluated and treatments given. Medical oncology residents and the oncology intern all rotate through this clinical trial service. Thanks to our dedicated chemotherapy room, patients receive their treatments in a quiet and dedicated space, so they're comfortable and safe. It's also a great space for our team to manage their busy schedules. All of our specialists in training have a desk in a shared office on the second floor of the FACC for quiet, uninterrupted work. In addition, we have a dedicated room within the clinical space set up as an efficient workspace for our doctors. Most use it for client calls and completing medical records. The Lucy Oncology Clinic also includes a dedicated radiation oncology area. There's a client consult room and rounds, treatment planning, and procedure rooms. There's also space for day patient housing and the control room for our linear accelerator, as well as the machine itself. Our team couldn't do what we do without the support of all the other services within the Veterinary Teaching Hospital. Our hospital features a newly remodeled critical care unit. Emergency and inpatient services also include an intermediate care unit and an urgent care service that serves the public. The anesthesia team oversees surgical and advanced imaging procedures as well as select radiation treatments. The VTH has six dedicated operating rooms and a fabulous support staff. We have a brand new CT machine capable of scanning a dog in under 60 seconds. This imaging modality is becoming a mainstay of oncology imaging and is used for radiation planning purposes as well. We also have a full suite of imaging modalities that are key to the care of our patients, including PET-CT, MRI, ultrasound, radiography, fluoroscopy, and nuclear imaging. Most of our specialists in training also participate in research. The FACC has 10 dedicated laboratories that all focus on oncology research. Our faculty include both clinician researchers and basic science experts. They stand ready to mentor budding scientists, and there are plenty of interesting research projects to propose or to participate in. We feel lucky to get to come to work here every day, and uh, it's a really magical place to be. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about our program, and thanks again for your interest.